A United Nations Commission of Inquiry into Violence and Rights Abuses in the Central African Republic has released its report and called on the Security Council and the international community to establish an international criminal tribunal for the country. Well, that report found that crimes against humanity were widely committed after the overthrow of President Francois Bozizé in 2013. Thousands died in the carnage that followed the coup, including 14 SANDF troops in the early stages, with at least half a million displaced by fighting that developed into ethnic cleansing. We therefore recommend very strongly that a special tribunal be set up. Our own preference would be for an, a fully internationalized tribunal but the United Nations is in the process of negotiating the establishment of a special criminal court within CAR, within its national legal system. If that goes ahead, we are extremely concerned to make sure that a majority of the judges and the president are from the international community. Commissioners don't believe the CAR has the capacity to provide judges who are able to render decisions that will hold perpetrators to account, while the question of financing becomes an immediate concern. To avoid the expenditure of funds, the council might almost unwittingly accept a very um, unsatisfactory solution which will actually do more harm than good. In other words, if you set up a tribunal which is not sufficiently funded, not sufficiently independent, then it's going to do more harm than good. So at a certain point, the council has to come to grips with the fact that resources must be found if they are serious about tackling impunity in the car. Their report pointed to the deployment of French and African forces eventually replaced in September by a fully-fledged UN peacekeeping mission that prevented a greater explosion of violence in the country. Sherwin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.